Hello students. Good morning to everyone. Today we are going to start a new chapter. Chapter number 4. Adaptation is animals. Adaptation is animals. Chapter 3 was also about the animals and the name of chapter was animal kingdom. And today we will study how animals adapt to their habitat as we have studied in the first chapter adaptation in plants now let's see about the adaptation in case of animals adaptation is a way that has an animal to survive or live in its particular environment for example camels have learn to adopt so that they can survive in desert where do this camel live camel live in the desert and now they have adopted to survive there those animals who were not able to adopt to the changes in environment slowly died and became extinct in this chapter we will study about the extinction of animals also what is meaning of extinct extinct means now of their breed or kind we cannot see any animal one example of this animal is what is that dinosaur dinosaur and so many other examples are there we will study We will study in this chapter about the endangered species, then extinct species. But before that, let us study adaptation to environment. Before moving to this topic, adaptation to environment, let once again recall the definition of adaptation. Let once again see the definition of the. adoption what is adoption adoption means the way animal survive in the particular environment adoption is something about an animal that makes it possible for it to live in a particular place and in a particular space it can be physical adaptation the way in which its body works what is meaning of physical adaptation the way the the way the body of animal is working in that particular environment the natural home of an animal is called its habitat when more term came here what is habitat the natural home of an animal natural home of an animal is called the habitat natural home of an animal is called the habitat and according to their habitat they are classified into five categories first one is terrestrial animal aquatic animal amphibian arboreal and aerial once again i am telling terrestrial animal aquatic animal amphibian aerial and arboreal let us study about the first categorization of animals according to their habitat in detail and that category is terrestrial animals do you remember we have studied in the first chapter about terrestrial plants and here also we are studying about the terrestrial animal what is meaning of terrestrial the animal which live on land as we have studied about the plants that plants which live on land are called the terrestrial plant similarly the animals 
which live on the land are called the terrestrial animals most land animals have legs to move and lungs to breathe they have well developed sense organs which help them in various activities such as protecting themselves from their enemies and bad weather conditions like rain storm and too much sunlight some example of this terrestrial animals are tiger then leopard then lion elephant giraffe rhinoceros snake cow buffalo and deer deer are also the examples of the terrestrial animals reptiles like snakes do not have legs and they have legs this reptiles do not have the legs what do they have how they crawl on the ground they have legs or scales on their they have legs or scales that help them to crawl on the ground the land has different features like mountain plains and deserts it is cold in the mountain and the polar regions are covered with snow throughout the year in desert it is extremely hot and dry in summer and in winter season the desert is very very cold the animals living in the mountains and the polar regions their body have special features which protect them from the freezing cold of this place animals like polar bear animals like polar bear and your animals like polar bear and your have thick fur what do they have they have thick fur they have thick fur which protects them from the cold their body stores food in the form of fat how does their body store food they, their body polar bear and dog their body stores food in the form of fat food in the form of fat and it makes them look like huge in size they look very huge in size animals like once again i am telling this is very important to remember animals like polar bear and dog have thick fur which protects them from the cold of those places and their body stores food in the form of fat it makes them look like very big or huge and animals like till and polaris till and polaris they have thick layers of fat which is known as the blubber what it is known as blubber to protect themselves from the severe cold and keep their body warm penguins also store food in the form of fat in their body and they sit very close or they huddle together they gather together for warmth and thus keep away cold animals that live in desert area where there is dry summer and cold winter seasons their bodies are also adopted by such in special species like they can survive in very less water and less food they conserve water in the body and can protect themselves from heat and cold 
what do they do they conserve water in the body and can protect themselves from the cold and heat we know that this camel is a desert animal camel is the desert animal and camel is having very special body features in order to survive there it is adapted to survive without food and water for many days it drinks a lot of water at one time and it stores food as starch in the hump do you know what is the hump of camel on the back you can see no a swollen portion that is known as the hump of the camel at the back portion it is swelling like anything and that is the hump of the camel in the hump camel is stored food in the form of fat and this fat provides energy to the animal when the food is not available in desert snakes and lizards are active during the day time during the dawn and dusk and during the day time they sleep the desert snake is active during the night and sleeps in a cool burrow during the day in order to avoid the water loss this is about the terrestrial animals we studied about the terrestrial animals and we studied that this land is having the different species and according to the places where this animals are found their bodies have special features in order to live there now we will study about the second categorization that is aquatic animals what is meaning of aquatic animals animals that live in water aquatic animals are those animals which live in water they have developed special body features that help them to stay under water most aquatic animals breathe through gills they have gills in order to breathe inside the water in order to breathe inside the water except whales and dolphins dolphins and whales breathe through the land dolphins and whales are exceptions they breathe through the land most aquatic animals also have fins or flippers why they have a fins or flippers in order to swim for swimming inside the water they have fins or flippers fish have a fin sea lions turtle and still have flippers this fin is having the fin and sea lions turtle and still have the flippers now we will study about the third categorization of animals based on the habitat and that is amphibians we have studied that in the last chapter amphibians are those animals that can live on both land and water frog toad water lizard and newts are the examples of some amphibians what are the examples frog toad newt and water lizard frog can live in water as well as on land young toad live in water while grown up frog move on land also frog have long hind limbs their hind limbs are very long and that help them take leaps on land they jump no and due to their long hind limbs they jump their webbed feet their foot is like
like web net you know net that help them to swim in water they respire in the air dissolved in the water at times they come to the surface in order to breathe through fresh air now we will study about the next categorization of animals that is arboreal animals what is meaning of arboreal animals animals that live mostly on the tree animals that live mostly on trees are known as the arboreal animals most arboreal animals have sharp and strong claws to climb up and down the branches they usually have strong muscular limbs and a tail they have a tail for holding on to the branches now i think you must have understood the example of this animal what is that yes monkeys and tree lizard monkeys tree lizard are the examples of this animal not only this flying squirrel polar bear are some example of this arboreal animal now last categorization of animals based on their habitat is aerial animals which animals aerial animals what are the aerial animals animals that can fly are called the aerial animals animals which can fly are called aerial animals these animals have a wings which give them the ability to fly in the air most birds can insects which can fly fall under the category of the aerial animals the bones of birds are hollow and their bodies are very very light making it easy for them to rise in the air and fly aerial birds can land on the ground and they can walk run hop and perch some example of the aerial animals are crows parrots eagles and bats these are about the categorization of animals based on the habitat now we will study about the next categorization of the animals based on their eating habits or adaptation for adaptation for food adaptation for food adaptation for food now we will categorize the animal based on their adaptation for food or we know that animals eat different kinds of food different animals are gifted with special body parts to eat their kind of food and they can be classified to their eating habits in the several categories herbivores carnivores omnivores scavengers and parasites once again i will tell herbivores carnivores omnivores scavengers and parasites first categorization is herbivores herbivores are those animals which eat only plants fruits and vegetables they have sharp front teeth to cut grass and leaves and this grinding teeth no this teeth are known as the grinding teeth this is very strong at the back of their mouth to chew the plant food and 
example of this animals are cow horse goat elephant giraffe and deer now next categorization is carnivores carnivores are those animals which eat only flesh and meat of other animals they have a pair of long sharp pointed teeth in front for hunting and clearing out the flesh of its prey and some example of carnivorous animals are lion tiger wolf leopard these are the carnivorous animals they have a skin eyesight they can see very far and they can spot their prey from a very high they have sharp beak uh, this flesh eating some birds are also there which eat the flesh they have sharp beak and claws to capture kill and carry their prey next categorization is omnivores omnivores are those animals which can which can which can eat both plants and flesh which can eat plants and flesh both human being crow human crow and bear cockroach and dog are the omnivores now scavengers next categorization according to their food is scavengers scavengers are those animals who feed on the remains of dead animals and the remains that other animals have left behind an example of this scavengers are jackals vultures and hyena are the some of the examples of these animals once again i will recall those animals who feed on the remains of dead animals and the remains that other animals have left behind are called scavengers okay and examples are jackals vulture and hyena now the last categorization based on their adaptation for food is parasites parasites what are parasites parasites are those animals that get their food from the other living organisms are called the parasites they live either on the body or inside the body of an organism example is lice then lice flea bed bug etc live on the body while tape form round form and hook form what are they tape form round form and hook form they live inside the host body this is all about the adaptation for the food now we will study about the adaptation for protection adaptation for protection how do the animals adapt in order to protect themselves adaptation for the protection adaptation for the protection many animals adopt some special species to protect themselves from the other animals 
डैट में यूज डैम एनिमल्स लाइक सेमेलियन एंड आर्टिक फॉक्स एनिमल्स लाइक सेमेलियन एंड आर्टिक फॉक्स दे हैव द एबिलिटी टू चेंज देयर स्किन कलर टू मैच देयर सराउंडिंग एनिमल्स लाइक एलिफेंट वेल एंड सिपोपोटामस दे हैव नो नेचुरल एनिमी वाई बिकॉज देयर साइज इज वेरी बिग एंड देयर बिग साइज स्केयर्स आर बी मोस्ट ऑफ देयर एनिमी नाउ एनिमल्स लाइक टॉयस वाइज एंड स्नेल दे हैव very hard shell and this hard shell protects the their soft delicate body parts when attack animals like deer and kangaroo they can run very fast to escape from the enemy animals like polar bear and live in tech can trick their enemy because their body color easily mixes with the surrounding why because they are in green color animals like wasps and scorpions protect themselves by having painful and poisonous sting animals like tigers and lions have sharp claws which they use to maul their enemies they will fear if any animals come in the vicinity okay now adaptation in behavior adaptation in behavior how do the animals adopt adopt themselves to their behavior migration first we have here is migration what is migration migration is the mass movement of animals from one habitat to another animals and birds migrate to a warmer places or in search of food and to escape the harsh winter cold they return back in the spring season siberian crane sea turtle and siberian crane sea turtle and arctic tern are some animals which have this behavior now next behavior is hibernation what is hibernation hibernation is a long winter sleep that some animals go to animals like mice frogs bats and snakes they store they store they store extra food in the body during the summer and use this energy to stay alive throughout the hibernation period and next is activation what is activation this is long summer sleep this is long summer sleep long summer sleep certain animals go to this long summer sleep many amphibians and crocodiles activate to avoid hot dry summer months some insects snails and fish also activate and wake up after the dry season now we will study about the last topic of the chapter and that is endangered animals endangered animals we have studied about the 
adaptation in animals and now we will study about the endangered animals let's see what are they although animals adopt themselves to survive in their habitat still the life of several animals are under continuous threat due to the activities of men and one of the such activity is deforestation deforestation is cutting down of forest or trees in large scale deforestation for more and more land destroys habitat of many animals hence they are becoming extinct becoming extinct means getting lost from this places some animals such as dodo dodo and a bird known as passenger pigeon dodo and passenger pigeon these animals have become extinct some animals like giant panda animals like giant panda snow leopard tiger then i have are under the threat of extinction or they are on the verge of extinction and they are called the endangered animals so if anyone asks you what is the definition of endangered animal endangered animals are those animals that are on the verge of extinction means their number has become less in last two years their number is decreasing day by day so we have to care for them Sub unicef has taken the such and made the such and protection act for saving this animal and we do have to care for this otherwise they will become extinct okay this is all about the chapter we have finished this chapter when we come next day we will do the exercise and everything okay read this chapter well and understand the thing thank you class